Hi, I'm Katie. I'm from Denton, Texas, and you're watching what Michael was doing a month ago. Today, Missoula feels weirdly desolate. I guess because it's all overcast and a little bit windy and there's not very many people out on the streets. I assume because it's President's Day or something. I know that the, uh, the coffee place that a lot of people at work go to is closed today. I'm leaving the office now. Uh, today I just basically caught up on everything that I missed not being in the office on uh, Thursday and Friday of last week. I didn't film anything yesterday, so let me catch you up on what happened yesterday. Nothing happened yesterday. I stayed in bed yesterday. That's about it. I was pretty exhausted and I was feeling a little, a little bleh. So I took the day off of everything. The good news is that there's a video uploading to what I'm doing right now, and that's gonna make it the first video in like five days. Six days. Six days. This trip to, uh, excuse me, this trip to Seattle and the subsequent exhaustion that followed uh, did a number on our upload mojo. Our upload momentum. Upload momentum. Oh, okay. Upload you. That's probably better than uplomentum. I don't think I've gone on a run since like last Tuesday or Wednesday, so this is gonna be uh, probably a little bit painful. Whew. That wasn't too bad. Mostly my inner thighs are rubbing together and chafing a lot. It's not comfortable. Are you guys filming behind the scenes SciShow work? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Not staged at all. <laughs> wink, wink. So we are working on the this end of month retreat meeting thing. We've got a sort of schedule scheduled out. If there's something that we need to start doing or there's stuff that we need to stop doing or there's ways that we can improve, we, we de this is the time to talk about it, right? Um, Managing geographically dispersed work teams through Slack is not always the best, so we want to maximize this face-to-face -face time. I mean, any time before this point, this little whatever it is that I have going uh, felt pretty ragtag. It still kind of does, but like we're we're now reaching the point where this is not significantly fewer people than Hank used to launch Crash Course and SciShow simultaneously. Granted, he had millions of dollars in grant money from YouTube to do that, but it's just exciting to have this much uh, manpower, this much woman power behind uh, creative endeavors. All right. Um, I mean, I don't have anything else to add, really. Um, I guess for the thing that we're doing on the 27th, uh, Bray is vegan. Yep. Does anybody else have dietary restrictions? Dairy. That, that is a no. I don't really eat fish, but it's not a dietary restriction. It's a personal choice. There's actually one that I'm like trying to make. Uh, I see all the good things about it, and it's just a matter of making myself do it. Nice. Hit me up if you need any vegan tips. You know what? I will. I think the, the one thing that like really gets me is like I just don't like to have to make things, and that's like you know, food wise. I just don't want I, I, vegan stuff. I tried. I went a month and a half going like raw, and raw. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. That was, uh, okay. I okay. To make okay. Spaghetti. When you uh, have even the vegan of the group <laughs> thinking you're weird, raw but, veganism is insane. Like I don't know how people do it. Yeah, for you. <laughs> eating all day. I remember for a month and a half, I was starving all the time in a constant state of, of, of hungry. And I remember I, I tried to, I found these recipes online and I tried to make the spaghetti and it just, that was, that didn't turn out well. Definitely. I do want to make it clear that being vegan or eating raw or whatever is totally fine. I, mean, I never I, felt that way. I mean, your bacon flaps trigger me, but it's okay. <laughs> 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 You have to do the slow motion when he throws them and everything. It's just, you know, 
Just okay, right. the one like video clip that I had to edit when you were in California and you were at like the Chinese place where you cooked your own meat on the grill and you had like this close up of like raw meat. I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. I gotta sleep that tonight. <laughs> Slap trigger me. <laughs> I guess. Sure. <laughs> I, uh. If I realize that there's gonna be a video that's specifically meat heavy, I'll try to make sure that Caitlin gets it. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm on my way to the gym to get my jog on. We're still currently hovering between two and three weeks behind on the daily vlogs. The next uh, major milestone type date coming up is my birthday, so maybe, hopefully, possibly, we'll see if we can get caught up by my birthday. All I want for my 30th birthday is no lag time on the daily vlog. Six point something miles later. After I hit like five and a half miles, I started to get really hungry. And I was like, hmm, I don't really want to run 11 miles today. So I didn't. But my legs feel really good. If my brain had wanted it, I think my legs would have been fine with it. One thing that I found today while I was in the gym was uh, they have Quest Bars now. And Quest Bars are like my favorite nutrition bar. So Quest Nutrition, if you're watching this, and you feel like giving me some money and or free Quest Bars, or if you feel like making your uh, packaging easier to open, any of those things are fine. This is really chewy. Earlier I was talking with Todd and Michael Morgan and they were asking me if, if I had my pick of which brands I would work with in the future, you know, which ones would I choose? And of course at the top of the list was like Chipotle, Domino's, I'd maybe do Pizza Hut, but they'd have to pay me a lot. It's not that I dislike Pizza Hut, I just, I'm that loyal to Domino's. The Cock and Bull Ginger Beer Company. I guess I did stuff with Ford a long time ago. I would work with Ford again, but I didn't think about Quest Bars in that meeting. Quest Bars should be on that list. Well, there's pot belly sandwiches. It's mostly just food things. Things that you put in your mouth. Food things and a thing to drive you to all the food things.